Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to today's Wild Rift video. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Misfortune and Amumu down in the duo lane. Now, surprisingly enough, Amumu did receive some buffs in patch 2.6a. His base health got increased and also his first ability got buffed as well, which helps him out a lot, especially in the laning phase as well, especially because Misfortune and Amumu want to play very, very aggressive early on. I do have a quick build for Amumu to show you off as well. But first off, let's talk about Misfortune. Now, this build is a little bit different to the Misfortune build that you might have seen before. And I'll probably do another video explaining both the builds, what benefits both builds have, you know, what downside both builds have as well. So I'll let you know in another video. But I'll quickly run through this build and, you know, what why this build is still you know, considered a good build and why this build does have some benefits as well. Obviously, Man Immune as the first item doesn't give you that early power spike that Dustblade does have early on. If you do scale well into the mid and the late game, it does, you know, allow you to have a lot of mana as well. So you can use abilities more often, which is quite nice as well. And you can get the Mura Mana uh, upgrade quite quickly with this Misfortune because you will be using abilities a lot in the laning phase. Now, after Mana Mean, you want to go for Serrated Dirk, which is a tier 2 item. Now, even though we don't complete an item early on, it's because of the Serrated Grudge, which I'll talk about in a second. But Serrated Dirk is quite a strong item. You see this quite a lot on champions like um, Jace and other champions like that as well that like to go for a more armor penetration build but this item is just a really really strong tier 2 item gives you the attack damage and the armor penetration early on as mentioned you don't want to complete the ghost blade just yet you want to go for serrated grudge or serrated's grudge or however you call this item I, it's a really really weird name it gives you the ad and ability haste and also gives you the armor penetration now the reason why you don't want to build this item early on is because you don't get the percentage armor penetration we well, don't get as much percentage armor penetration early on you get it more as the game goes on as you level up so by the time you get this item you'll probably be about a level 10 or a level 11 so you'll get about you know 25 percent in terms of armor penetration which is quite nice and obviously this will scale more into late game as well as you level up now, the reason why this item is really, really strong is because of the icy passive. Damage and active abilities and empowered attacks slow enemies by 30% for one second. Now, this works with every tick of damage from the third ability of Misfortune and also the ultimate bullet time. Now, if you don't know, there's a classic combo, which is Amumu's ultimate and Misfortune's ultimate, which is called Curse of the Sad Bullet Time. So even though, you know, the enemy champions will get stunned by Amumu's ultimate, they will also be slowed by Serrada's Grudge afterwards as well with the bullet time. You can combo your third ability and bullet time as well to get even more slows off as well. But this item just works really, really well for Misfortune. It just... You know, allows you to do a lot more damage. Obviously, Misfortune did get buffed in patch 2.6 as well. So the AD ratio has been increased. So, you know, building a lot of attack damage is really, really important now for Misfortune. And getting the armor penetration is also very important. As you don't really do well against tanks with Misfortune. So getting the armor penetration is really, really nice. Now, instead of Dust Blade, you want to go for Yomu's Ghost Blades. Now, even though I did say that, you know, Yomu's Ghost Blade is not really needed... You'll be surprised how much movement speed you actually get from Ghost Blade plus the buff of the second ability for Misfortune. Now, the movement speed does obviously help you a lot roaming around the map, and it does help you um, in out of combat fights as well. So you can look to try and, you know, kind of keep your distance from the enemy champions as well, which is a really important thing for Misfortune as well. But it also allows you to get into position quicker. So if, you know, a Curse of the Sand Mummy comes off from your Mumu, you can look to get into position and try and use your bullet time as soon as possible. And also attacking with maximum momentum stacks as well grants you with extra attack speed. Now, if you don't know, you don't really build attack speed for Misfortune because your second ability has attack speed and also obviously... Ghostblade has attack speed as well. So you get a lot of attack speed, but obviously you're more dependent on, you know, um, what's the word called? You're more dependent on splitting up the auto attacks, so you're more dependent on her abilities more than her auto attacks. So that's why you go for Ghostblade, and that's why I feel like Ghostblade is quite a good item. Obviously, Edge of Night is still such a strong item as well. It's a defensive item, but it does help, help Misfortune a lot. 
250 max health and 50 AD. It's pretty insane. Obviously, that armor penetration as well does help Misfortune a lot, as mentioned. But the passive is also really, really nice. It grants a spell shield that blocks the next hostile ability. And this spell shield refreshes upon leaving combat with enemy champions, which is only 35 seconds. Now, this could be any ability. This could be a Gragas Barrel. This can be, you know, any ability at all. So you have to be careful. You have to make sure you don't take as much poke damage. But this can help you a lot. This can help you against, you know, a lot of crowd control that can come misfortune's way. So, for example, Mafia Ultimate comes your way, or even an Amumu Ultimate from the enemy team comes your way as well. Any sort of crowd control that comes your way, this will block the next ability that comes at you. So, even though this can work as a downside, this can also be a really, really good plus side as well. Now, as a last item, you can flex between a few items. You can go for Guardian Angel as a last item, or you can even go more aggressive and go for Infinity Edge as a last item. Now, if you don't know, Misfortune's first ability always guarantees a crit on the second part of the double up. So, uh, you know, with Infinity Edge, you do get a little bit of crit. You do get the extra AD as well. But the most important thing is that your crit strikes deal 230% damage instead of 200%. So your first ability will deal even more damage. Now quickly for the boots, I haven't mentioned the boots. I do have the Lucidity boots with this build. You can go for defensive boots as well. The Plated Steel Caps and the Mercury Treads do work very, very well. In terms of boost upgrade, Proto Belt works really, really nice for Misfortune. Actually doesn't really have... A lot of mobility obviously she does have a lot of movement speed when out of combat but when in combat she doesn't have a lot of mobility so if you need to you know increase your distance between you and the enemy champion or if you want to try and engage onto the enemy as well with the uh proto bolt you can do that as well which might be a bit interesting but you know what i mean you also have the stasis as well which helps you a lot against um assassins but other than that that's the misfortune build obviously conquer really good for misfortune as well works really well with her bullet time because most of the time you'll be able to get the five stacks quite quickly uh brutal gives her the early ad um early on if you don't want the early ad from brutal you can go for hunter vampirism as well that is also works very very well the second rune you have bone plating you can also go for hunter titan as well if the enemy team does have a lot of armor penetration um armor penetration i'm too busy thinking about armor penetration a lot of crowd control on the enemy team and he obviously has sweet teeth as well and for spells we have flash and heal Now, quickly looking at a movement, I'm not going to go into this build in depth, uh, but quickly looking at it, you kind of just want to go for a tanky a Mumu build. There are a lot of items that you've probably seen from other tanks like Thresh, like Gragas and, you know, champions like that as well. Dead Man's Play, Zeke's Convergence, which, work, which works really well with his Ultima. Um, you know, Force of Nature, giving him that extra movement speed as well with Dead Man's Play. Abyssal Mercs, Mars, Abyssal Mask, sorry, works quite well because of the passive, allowing nearby enemy champions to take 15% bonus magic damage. So say if you have a Katarina on your team, which we did in this game, it does work really well for Amumu and Thornmail as well, which obviously works really well with all of the crowd control that Amumu has. Obviously, you have Aftershock early on with... Um, and Mumu with the bandage toss, which is quite nice. And also weakness, allowing Misfortune to deal more damage um, if you do hit the bandage toss early on. Bone plating and then pack hunter as well and having flash and ignite. Now, it's really important to take heal and ignite for both Misfortune and Mumu because you want to play aggressive early on. You want to try and get the early game advantage to try and scale well into the late game. But that's pretty much it. Obviously, as mentioned, this combo is really, really strong. Me and Polish Onion. Yes, I did play some games with Polish Onion yesterday, which was really, really fun. We gave this combo a try in the bot lane. It was really, really fun. Um, this combo is really, really strong. Do give it a try yourself. Let me know down in the comments what you think. As always, take care of yourselves. Have a good rest of the day. I'll see you all very, very soon. Peace out. All right, Missy Fortune. Nice and easy. Don't make any more trouble. Okay, you win. So who gets to collect my bounty? Well, by arrangement, we always split 50-50. Nah, hold up, 70-30. What are you talking about? Well, the time, I'm pretty sure I just saved you again. Which means I get the well, big I perfectly under control until you came far. You were upside down like a piece of... Call that shit! <laughs> <laughs>